If you don't know where you're going, everywhere will look like it. Until you place a demand from God, this is what I want. If you don't have vision, God does not have anything to work with. You pursue the vision. It is vision that defines what you want God to do for you. Jesus came with a vision for God to give Jesus speed and be there for him. Jesus knew what he wanted. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3. Verse 3. True wisdom, somebody say wisdom. And house is built. True wisdom and house or a house is built. And by understanding, it is established. You build the house by wisdom and wisdom helps the house to function. <laughs> so building the house is not enough. The same way with Christianity. Being a Christian is not enough. It is how you manage Christianity. You understand that? Yes. So the wisdom of the foolish. The wisdom of the foolish is that a person that is supposed to be wise acts foolish. It's a problem. That we, we miss the blessings of God by such actions. We miss the blessings of God by such actions. We miss the visitation of God by such foolishness when we are supposed to be wise. So wisdom is profitable when it is rightly applied. Somebody says, talking to me. We have lost relationships. We have, years ago, I, I used to speak, say in the church, until one of my friends called me, I used to say, I don't care who wants to leave me. If you want to leave the church, you leave. God will send me another person. One man of God called me and said, it's a lie. Say, the one you have, you keep them. You don't tell them if they want to leave, leave. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says if one goes, he will leave the other 99 and go and look for one that is missing. It is wisdom. Am I talking to somebody? It is wisdom. Before I did not used to call people, now I call people, where are you? Where have you been? Because you learn with time and with age, you mature. The wisdom of the foolish is that the wise knows what to do and he still acts foolish. I'll go show you three or four things that the wise act foolish. Are you ready? Write down so that you can learn. Amen? Show you the five or six things the wise act foolish. Number one. The wise that acts foolish do not take counsel. They do not take what? Counsel. Counsel means advice. A man that is supposed to be wise or a woman that is supposed to be wise that does not take godly counsel is a fool. If you think you are wise, and somebody said, Sissy or brother, sit down. Let me advise you. And you turn around and say, I don't need advice. Nobody can talk to me. Nobody can. You are a wise man that is acting foolish. I'm not saying you are foolish because nobody is foolish in this church. Okay, so I can't call you. But you are just wise, but you are acting foolish. <laughs> A person that refuses to take wise counsel. The, the biggest counsel that the people that make cigarettes counsel, they say, cigarette smoking is dangerous for your lungs. Is that not wise counsel? The person still puts the stick, the packet in his pocket and goes to the same packet where it is written. 
cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health he still takes the cigarette and still smokes and takes the other one that they've written the cigarette smoking is dangerous and still puts in his pocket is that person wise the person that made it the people that made the cigarette they put it in the pack People are laughing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the wisdom of the foolish. In his eyes, that's the next one. Okay. Good on, let me take it gradually. Somebody say I'm here. Yeah. Number two, the fool has said in his heart, There is no God. It is not that there is no God. But he spoke to himself. <laughs> he, he convinced himself. He convinced the fool has said in his heart. The fool is not saying there's no God. The fool is saying that there is no God. Why? Because he does not want to submit to authority. Because if he believes that there is God, why is he not obeying God? Am I talking? So the wise fool does not submit to authority. When you see a person that fights authority, it's a fool. Oh, I know it's deep. I told you. You see, somebody has a company. He has a company. He tells you, in my company, I want like this, I want like this, I want like this. He said, no, we'll, I will not do it like this. I, I have a better way. You better form your own company. Yes. That's true. You are wise but foolish. Am I talking to somebody here? We are seeing how people are missing out of God's best blessing. In their thinking that they are wise but acting in a foolish way. A proprietor owns a business, he says, reporting time is 9 o'clock. You come by 10. And you say, God has forget, forgotten me. Or God has forsaken me. The reason you are coming at 10 is because you don't want to submit to authority. You, are, you think you are wise. Amen. I'm about to close. But I'm just speaking life. These are things that make us to miss the blessings of God. Every year the same circle. Every year the same circle. Every year the same. Number three. This is my favorite. Every fool is quick to quarrel. It's quick to what? To quarrel. I don't know some of you that are married, like me. You will find some married people, they are waiting for their husband to come home. They take the quarrel and reserve it. Mr. John will come, they will not quarrel him. Mr. Mike will come, they will not quarrel him. Mr. Gregory will come, they will not. They are reserving the quarrel. You will see them smiling now. They are joking. They are just keeping the quarrel and waiting for who is coming. It's a reserved quarrel. If you can smile with him, with him, with him, why are you waiting to quarrel with who is coming? You are a wise fool. No, look at it. If you have the grace not to smile when he's not there, everything is okay, you are, everything, you are happy, when he comes, he will see my color. Something is wrong with you. I'm telling you the wisdom of the fool. Why don't you take the smile and reserve the smile for the man coming? If you can smile with the two, three people that are coming, if he comes, why don't you forget the quarrel? The and smile. Is that not wisdom? It's wisdom. Okay. 
Amen. Amen. So the fool is quick to quarrel. There are people every time, every little thing they quarrel. Every little thing they are ready. Everything they are ready. Why are you not ready for peace? Why are you always ready to argue and fight and quarrel? You're a fool. Because in your reserve, you don't have peace. In your reserve, my goodness. Somebody say it's preaching nice. <laughs> Quick to quarrel. Everything about them is argument. They are always quarreling. Always ready to get into a fight. When she comes, she will know who I am. When he gets here, he will know that my blood is hot. Hey! It is the wisdom of the foolish. You are wise. You know what to do. But you don't do what you are supposed to do. Something is wrong with you. People have lost friends. Lost colleagues lost acquaintances because they are always ready to quarrel proverbs chapter 18 6 and 7 proverbs chapter 18 it said a fool sleeps listen now a fool sleeps enter into contention and his mouth call it for stroke that in his fight his mouth is calling for stroke if, if you dare slap me, let me see if I will not slap you. Just raise your hand, you will see me. Just, ah. Verse, seven, verse A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare. It is his lips that destroys his soul. Because he's always ready to contend. If people don't know, people must know him. They must know he's there. They must, you, you must feel me. You know that kind of thing? If they don't feel him, he's not wise. If they don't get his action, when he enters the house, all the children run under the bed. Daddy, you, what, you mean I came and you are still standing? You mean I am talking and you are still replying? You, as if the, the same mouth you have, the same person does not have a mouth. But your own mouth, my goodness, somebody say amen. amen. Number four. <laughs> the fool is always wise in his own eyes. In his own what? Let me give you an example of how a fool is wise in his own eyes. Now, we are in a season where we have WhatsApp groups. You know WhatsApp groups? We're in a season where we have WhatsApp groups and WhatsApp groups and WhatsApp groups. Now, someone that is always wise in his own eyes will post something in a group. When he posts something in a group and they will call him, brother, that thing you posted in the group is not supposed to be there. The person, instead of removing what he posted, will leave the group. You're a fool. <laughs> you are wise and fool. You're foolish. Yes. Um, you understand? They leave. Once you see somebody get angry and leave a group, because people, it, what he posted, people are not happy. You understand? Why don't you come down and hear why they're saying what you posted is not good? No, but because you are always right, everybody must listen to your own posting. And once they criticize you a little, out! You will hear this fellow has left the group. You're a fool that is wise in your own eyes. I'm preaching this night to oh. the foolishness of the wise. Or if somebody just responds a little bit, hey, I knew it. You, the person is replying now. 
Why is it only you that criticize me? Why is it that anytime I write something, you are always talking against it? Why is it that, yeah, 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 before you know, delete? Either they will delete you or they will delete themselves. It is a sign that you have a problem. And all the sisters say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Once you leave, why are you leaving? Because they refused, they did not agree with you. Or because you are like a Hitophel. There's a man called a Hitophel. The Bible says Ahithophel was the wisest man in the land. Ahithophel. He was the wisest man in the land. Now when David heard that Ahithophel had joined his son Absalom, he panicked. He said, I am in trouble because he's a wise man. Then he prayed a prayer. He said, oh God, make the counsel of Ahithophel the counsel of foolishness. That's the prayer I pray. Now, Ahithophel now gave advice to Absalom. He said, Absalom, don't pursue your father like that. It was a nice advice. Then some young men came back and said, no, why are you listening to Absalom? Ahithophel. You know what happened? They did not listen to the counsel of Ahithophel. Ahithophel went to his room and put a rope in his neck <laughs> and hung himself. The wisest man in the land. His level of pride has turned him foolish. Just for once that they did not take his advice, he went out of the WhatsApp group. <laughs> if there is a problem, solve it. Stay. Hear godly counsel. In the mouth of different opinions, there is counsel. Take this advice, take this advice, take this advice, and sit down and pray over it. You don't know everything. It is not everything that you know. There are people that know better than you, and you need one another to go to where you're going. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There are crazy advice somebody will just give you. And you sit down. Don't always feel that advice is criticism. So people that are right, you see them being correct even in the church. You tell them, see, why are you, why are you? The wisdom of the foolish. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, I'm here. Amen. I hope you're getting something this night. Amen. It is wisdom is profitable to direct you. Wisdom directs you, directs you. Wisdom directs you. Wisdom. Now, the fool is a waster. Number, number five. The fool is a what? It's a waster. It's, what are you wasting? What are you wasting? What, you, in my house, you don't just throw away anything. You put it in the fridge. Yeah? You eat and remain it. Frigid. You want to throw it to the dustbin? You are throwing my money. The half you throw away is half of the money I bought that thing. There is no pride. There is no pride. If you remain, you, milk is half. Me, I, perfume, I love perfume, okay? I use it until I shake it. I, sh I shake it. I shake it. I sh 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 you every drop must fall. Uh, did I not pay for it? <laughs> yes, everything. Listen to me. There is no pride in waste. There's no pride in waste. People, you know, eh, I like to wear clothes. But most of the clothes I wear, I've had them for six years, seven years. I will just mix them. You'll be shouting here. Some of them are old. But if you see them, they are like new. 
I don't allow my, my girl to iron for me. Because she will not understand how much her body's clothes. She'll be singing, our father, our father. Then go and burn my shirt of 6,000. The devil is a liar. I will not allow you. You come and say, Papa, I'm sorry. So you will pay. <laughs> I don't waste. Foolish people waste. How can a man that is paid 10,000 rand not have money at the end of the month? Something is wrong with you. There are men that don't come home with their salaries. You get your salary from there to the bar. Give him two bottles. Give him three bottles. <laughs> drink, 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 drink. The Lord has blessed me. Drink, 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 drink. Drink. The foolishness, the wisdom of the foolish, the fool waste. The fool waste. I saw somebody the other day. He said, I'm looking for money to go and do uh, uh, my father's uh, what, 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 what? The cleansing of the tomb. I don't know what they're doing. What do they call that? Person that has died five years. You want to unveil. What, what the, is he coming back? <laughs> you are unveiling him. I don't understand. When you unveil him, he comes back to life. If you want to unveil him, open the tomb. <laughs> Let us see the remains, the bones. You will see how that there is no bone, it's all sand. He's gone. He's rotten. There is no unveiling there. If you want to paint the tomb, Come back, use your brush, be praying. Marakoto suka paratala tala rapata pata pata. You paint the, the tomb and you go home, you buy the paint 50 rand and you buy a brush. You have <laughs> You see? Nah, I don't understand. I don't understand. No! It is the wisdom of the foolish. Am I talking to somebody? There are people that God has blessed tremendously, but they've not been able to manage the resources that God has given to them. Um, the fool is a waster. You will repent today. Repent. It's foolishness. It's foolishness. Some people don't come to church, they don't have new shoes. You don't come to church. The last one, the one you have, are there cockroaches in them? <laughs> Whom are you? Do you know nobody even sees the shoe you wear in church? Yes, it's true. Nobody sees the shoe. You want to impress people. You want to. The fool lives the life. The last one. The, a fool lives other people's life the fool does what lives other people's lives you are living other people's lives fake life everything about you fake We will only, some of you that are women, if we see you in the morning, we will pass, even your husband will pass you by. Because hair, fake. Breast, fake. Eyelid, fake. Hands, fake. Everything fake. fake. Amen. I saw a girl, I saw a girl, and to, I told myself, what a beautiful girl. The day I saw this girl, I said, Jesus of Nazareth. I said, oh, you are different from the picture. In the picture, they gave you nose. One kind of nose, your nose becomes long. Your skin spotless. 
your hair bang, like a uh, They polish this. The picture is smooth, smooth, polish, polish, polish. They smooth. The skin is shining like pop up. You know, they pop out. Everything clear. That's fake. That's not reality. We have come into a, a world where we live other people's lives. We live other people's lives. I read something yesterday. That I laughed and I laughed. The thing says, you wear Brazilian hair. You wear uh, uh, Caucasian hair. You wear Chinese hair. If somebody with a natural hair can come and take your boyfriend, then something is wrong. With all your hair, somebody comes like, uh, I saw your wife, where's your wife? Stand up. You've done all the hair, all the hair. Your husband leaves you for somebody natural. Then, why were you wearing those things? Why were you wasting money? 200 and they're expensive these days. The way money, the way they cost this hair. You asking me? No, no, ask me. I don't know. I don't know. Other people's life, other people's car, other people's ministry. You are living a fake life. You are, you, are, you are acting foolish. Be yourself. Be whom God has made you to be. Be whom God has created you to be. He has created you in his image after his likeness. You are wonderfully made. You are beautifully made. God loves you the way you are. The wisdom of the foolish. May God Give us understanding. If you don't know where you're going, everywhere will look like it. Until you place a demand from God, this is what I want. If you don't have vision, God does not have anything to work with. You pursue the vision. It is vision that defines what you want God to do for you. Jesus came with a vision for God to give Jesus speed and be there for him. Jesus knew what he wanted.